Not yet. Let's see. Still working on it. I think we've joined Facebook. Hi, everybody. Just waiting for YouTube to catch up here. And then we can kick off on the crafty adventure. Ready for crafty adventure, Craig? Mm -hmm. When are you going to join me for a live, Craigie? Mm -hmm. Will you do it for a, a special for our anniversary? If you remember. When is our anniversary? <laughs> Will you remember? <laughs> hey, Jasmine. Happy Friday. Ashley is here as well. Hello, hello. Love to create as well. Hi. Hey, you guys. Can you guys hear me loud and clear? That's the first thing on the agenda for tonight. Um, before I crack on with some crafty, crafty fun times. Let's just see that you can give me the thumbs up in regards to audio. <laughs> That's wrong. Oh, waiting for the thumbs up. Thumbs up! Craig, Craig's, Craig's at this at the window. I'm like, what's wrong? He's like, waiting for the thumbs up. So, uh, <laughs> we've got Jasmine, we've got Tiffany, Ivy Elf is here. Ashley says, I can hear you. Suzanne Watanabe is here. Fantastic. Looks great. Give me the okay as well. Cool, cool, cool. Well, happy Friday. And I'm wearing a hoodie tonight because it has finally decided to be decent weather, <laughs> hoodie weather, and not this sweaty Betty weather that uh, we were having having for a little while. I uh, it is nice if you're if you're on holiday or something, but uh, I had to like pin my hair up like this because it was just too much for me. So now that the weather's back to normal. I'm here all straightened again. <laughs> Fun times. Congratulations to Jasmine, by the way. Jasmine won the Heffy Doodlers Challenge this week, or this month, I should say. Um, that is a monthly challenge that we have over on the Heffy Doodlers Facebook group. And that is a Facebook group uh, kind of for Heffy Doodle fans and um, you should really join it if you're not already part of it and you'll get lots of inspiration and you can share your projects and I always share uh, there any um, like promotions and things like that and sometimes we have giveaways and other fun stuff too so you can head over to Heffy Doodlers Facebook group and Jasmine won the, uh, the challenge um, this month there's a new challenge also and the theme is summer fun ah! so maybe you could make create a card and the rule is pretty much it has to have at least one heffy doodle thing on there and that's it so congratulations i thought jasmine was going to save her money for the new release but no she spent it straight away <laughs> Donna's here as well, and Bree, Stationary Life, and Crafty Suze. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so I'm going to um, attempt, is probably the right word, to create a card today. Um, I think it would kind of be called a rock and roll card, if I have figured that out correctly. And I'm going to be using the Your Weird stamps and the Spaced Out stamps. So these are, I'm getting a bit of glare there, sorry. Um, these are definitely giving me outer space vibes and also very on trend because of course we had SpaceX last week, which was super fun. So did you guys see it? Donna says, I just made a space card in honor of SpaceX. So I didn't really, I wasn't really aware of it all that much. But then um, during, let me get going and I'll tell you as I'm, as I'm crafting. Uh, on Saturday, one of um, my crafty friends, Ian, Ian, who is off kilter crafter, Ian was, it was his birthday. And... He put this thing on Facebook, which was his birthday 
a photo, photo scavenger hunt and I was invited to it and I thought, all right, okay, cool. And I never really paid much attention to it, to be honest. And then it came up, um, it came up on my Facebook thing to say, oh, this is happening today. And I had a look and it, um, there was an email from him and it said that normally every year on his birthday, he does a photo scavenger hunt, but obviously with, with um, COVID this year, they're not really able to, to do one in person. So he was doing one online. I thought, okay, okay. And then you had to RSVP. And I thought, well, I'm gonna RSVP because I was a bit non-committal. I was like, I might, I might not. It depends on, um, it depends on time difference and all that jazz. Anyway, so he sent out an email with a whole big list of things that you should take a photo of. And then he had a Facebook group where you could post the photos that you took. So we only really picked up the message or the list at about 5 p.m. on Saturday, which was about noon wherever he was in, in America. Uh, and so we went on a walk for, with the doggo and we took loads of photos. It's like pictures of us jumping in the air, picture of a tree. And some of them were very specific and then some of them were random and some of them were videos. And we just had a blast doing it. Um, Piper was laid off to bed because she just kept wanting to do more and more and more and more. Anyway, one of the photo scavenger prompts was living history. And I took a photo off SpaceX because Craig was watching the launch on his phone and um, he was telling Piper all about it. And then later on, as we're getting Piper off to bed, he goes, Piper, 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 come, 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 come. And uh, mommy, come. I'm like, okay. I went into our bedroom and he turned off the lights and he says, look, look up there towards the moon. I was like, okay. And there was just these lights going really fast. And he says, that's SpaceX. And I just quickly had my phone in my hand because I was taking a photo of something else for the scavenger hunt. And I was like, click. So I uh, submitted that one <clears throat> for living history. I said, this, that little tiny dot is SpaceX. And I won a certificate, yeah. <laughs> I won a certificate for the, uh, the best uh, or the most noteworthy photo or something like that, the coolest photo, because I caught SpaceX. And it was really cool because that was probably about 8.30 or something. And it just blows me away that obviously it, I was like, where did it take off from? Like America, I was like, wow, that's so cool. You see it up there, isn't that the coolest? <laughs> really cool. So yes, SpaceX. We'll make one in on our space eggs too. All right, so I've got my cute little aliens. I've got my spaceship as well. And one of the most fun things about this stamp is that it is a perfect semicircle. So what you can do is create a full planet. So we'll give that a go. I I hate big fish. <laughs> All right, says love these little stamps. IBL says I was glued to watching all of that. That's so cool. Managed to get a piece of floof here. There we go. Sarah Louise says, we only got to see the International Space Station up here when it went over. That's so cool. Oops, my thing's in the way. Ta-da! 
I Hate Big Fish says, I've never seen this tool before. I have to get one. Um, so this is called the Misty, M-I-S-T-I. It's engraved here. I'm not sure if you can probably see it though on the camera. And over this way, I might be able to see it, the Misty. Uh, which stands for Most Incredible Stamping Tool Invented. And it is aptly named because it is definitely the most incredible stamping tool invented. And there's lots of other ones, but this one is definitely my most faves. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my stamps on there for now. Um, I want to also tell you about a delivery that I got this week because you guys might be interested and in fact, Depending on what you think, um, I might get some of these things in the shop. So you guys might have seen me use this before, which is what I use to hold my glue up so that it's always um, on the right way and it prevents my nozzle from getting clogged so much. And I got this from um, my friend Becky from Make It by Marco. And um, she said that she's gonna send me something and she did and they do lots of 3d printed things and she sent me this which i'm so happy about Ta -da! so they have created um some 3d printed storage things to help the crafters and this is i think they call it the peacock blending brush storage unit and i used to have this one which you probably will recall oh i've got a cough <coughs> Um, and you just slotted them in like this but I really didn't like it because if you didn't get it just right they would fall down like this Whereas this little guy has got a perfect little holder and it displays it so beautifully this is the clear one and um, they also sent a blue one here so it looks like this when it comes um, and they also sent me some other goodies. I got one of I got one of these, another glue holder, but for like bigger bigger glue. Um, so I've got my glossy accents in that. And this is actually the thing that I'm most I, apart from apart from my peacock brush holder. The, the things I'm most excited about is these. Now I have one of these already, a black one. And this is called a clutter keeper. Have you guys uh, seen this? Have you seen them? I think I might have shared it before um, when I came back from the exhibition in January. It's called a clutter keeper. And the idea is that Becky and Carl know that every crafter, the space gets uh, smaller and smaller and smaller. And you know I complain about that all the time as well. <laughs> so the idea was that um, instead of having things on your desk like this, you can actually create a smaller footprint and uh, clear up some room on your space. So you've got this tool to keep away the clutter. Now I had one of these and I used it on my desk for a while, but then I decided that it actually worked really well for holding my plates for the Gemini. Um, I love the way that this keeps everything upright and it looks so good sitting over here next to the Gemini. So I really didn't want to take that away from there. So they sent me some clutter keepers. So I've got two on my desk now and I'm really, really excited. Yay! So I don't know if you guys like them and um, are interested in them please let me know because I might be able to get some for the store if that tickles your fancy all right so let's get back on track to the card I want to make today so the card I'm wanting to make is going to be a rock and roll card I think is what we would call it so let me see what kind of bat size I want. Okay, I'm gonna use the skinny circle frames. 
Oh, where can you find these? These are great. So if you want to buy them, they're from a company called Make It by Marco and they are available on Etsy. So if you go to Etsy and look up Make It by Marco, M-A-R-K-O, their surname is Marco. Thank you, Donna. That's, that's amazing. Thank you so much. It's really cool. And while you're there, please get yourself a phone stand. I'm... They sent me two more already. My my family have stolen them from me because I had a black one I used it all the time. Um, and they sent me two more and they've been stolen because they're so good. I, I love, it's the best phone stand I've ever seen. Anyway, back on track. I'll answer your questions as they come through. So I'm going to be creating what we call a rock and roll card. Um, and it's going to be a perfect circle, so it can go doo -doo 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 and roll. And because we're doing a space theme, I'm going to create a card base using, ooh, that was close, using the skinny circle frames and my black cardstock. So the black cardstock is Oreo Crunch by Heffy Doodle. And it's a perfect thickness for creating your card bases. And I'll hold that down using my Heffy Memo Tape. And I'll just pick these up and put them on my little clutter keeper over there. I should zoom out so you can see it more. And let's put these through. Crescent Creation says, thank you. Yes, those are great. Yeah, they really are. Really great. Okay, let's put that on there. And run these through the machine behind me. I'm actually gonna need two of these because I need a front and a back for my card. They're brilliant for holding cutting face. I looked for a long, long time for something that would hold cutting plates, but I did pick up some like MDF kind of wooden things and they weren't very like short by about a fraction of an inch, really annoyingly. <laughs> um, so, and th these are perfect and you get different sizes and things as well. I pulled out two pieces of card of my Oreo Crunch, but luckily we only need one of this. Managed to make that work. Hey, Crafty Lemur, how you doing? Here's my other little frame. I'll keep that to the side. I might use that on another project. Here we go. So, um, to create the actual card base, we're going to stick one of these onto the other, but we want to add a crease to one of them so that it opens like a card like this, okay? So let's grab the scoreboard. And I'll nest it up into the corner. And then the only thing you have to bear in mind is make sure that it's big enough for your tape. So. So Carl designs all those things himself and he actually was the one who made this for me. I don't know um, if you guys have seen this and probably haven't shared it in a little while. 
This was a custom chamois holder that he made especially for me while we were at Junkie Fest last year. So he has Heffy Doodle in the inside there. And I don't know if you can see, but this image here is a little bear, um, our, our Heffy Doodle bear. And then all around the edge is the bear doing little cartwheels. It's amazing. I have to, I have to figure out how to uh, get some chamois, get some heffy doodle chamois. <laughs> and then we can sell both of those things. Tape, that's what I'm looking for. Super cute, says Ivy Elf. It is, it's really cool. All right. So I'm just trimming away the overhanging areas here. Trimmed my nails this week and no, I can't. I seem to be struggling with release paper. Always the way. My nails are too long, I can't write. So now we need to lay, lay one of these on top of the other. Make sure it's lined up nicely. Give it a little bit of a pinch. And then it's going to rock back and forth like this. That's the plan. Awesome. So, for my, the front of my card, I'm thinking I might actually cover it with make a galaxy background. So let's grab some card. You could probably just do the galaxy background onto this, but I might want to use some watercolors. So I'll use some of my paint on and I'll cut the same one out. Same shape. Give me something to work on. thing with Heffy Doodle's name asks Michaela. Okay, let me have a little look. This here is a chamois holder. So um, this is dry at the moment, but you wet this and then you can clean your stamps with it. This is just a sponge. Um, chamois, chamois are, let me show you. I only have dry ones here at the moment, but it's like um, a chamois that you would get for cleaning a car, etc. Um, and you can get them pretty much um, in like car hardware places and things like that. Or there is one specifically made for stamping that is made by Lawn Fawn. And you can leave it in here. And the great thing about it is with the chamois, because you want it, to, you need it to be wet, you need it to be have the moisture in it to clean your stamps, but you, you don't wanna cover it completely if you have something wet in a closed container, then it's gonna sweat and get really stinky. So with this, it is closed enough that you can have the white, wet item in there, the wet sponge or chamois. It'll dry out naturally because there's holes in it, but if it's dripping wet, you can do like this, it drips down into the lid, it's really cool. This one is not for sale, at least not yet. Um, the um, It was made especially for me. It's a one of a kind at the moment, but you never know. <laughs> I might get some more. I might get some for the shop. 
Let me grab my mat. All right. So here is my watercolor cardstock. Here is my rock and roll card. I'm gonna pop that out of the out of the way for a minute. And I'm going to use my distress inks for this, at least to start off with. And I'm going to use uh, a red festive berries. I'm going to use some cracked pistachio, I think. And maybe like a purple wilted violet and then to create my night sky I'm going to need chip sapphire and black suit and if you haven't made a night sky background before I'll give you a warning it's gonna look like a hot mess until it doesn't. That's what Sandy Almock says, and it is 100% true. It will absolutely look like a hot mess until it doesn't. So. <laughs> hey, yells, yells. So the idea for a galaxy background is when you look at a galaxy, obviously it has it's black, black sky, etc. Lots of lovely stars. But if you look deep, there's actually like color bits, like lines of streaks of color in it that can be seen. So we want to create kind of like a base layer with some color. Now, you will see that I am not blending this. It looks like a mess, but that's all part of the process. So don't worry. Festive berries is very juicy, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Now, Jasmine a little while ago asked about colors, what colors of distress inks to start with. Here's some more colors that you're gonna need to get, Jasmine, <laughs> because I promise you, doing night skies or galaxy skies is just one of those things that never gets old. All right. Hey, yells, yells. I'm using my Heffy Memo Tape just to keep some of my fingers out of here. Jasmine says she already wants the whole set, yeah. That's kind of what happens. <laughs> that is indeed what happens. Okay, I'm just making this a bit deeper in certain areas. Won't really notice it in the grand scheme of things, I don't think. Hey, Vanessa. So you can kind of put any color in as the base but you're gonna want to have chip sapphire and black suit to complete your night sky. Sue says, did you get the new distress ink color? I did not, not yet. It's definitely something that I want to get. However, um, I just haven't, like if I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it and like 50 quid's worth of other products. <laughs> It's just the way my craft spend works. Um, and 
I just haven't had the time to do research for what else I need in my craft room. <laughs> so, we'll see. Okay. So I'm gonna take my chip sapphire and I'm gonna blend right over the top with my chip sapphire all the way around. And cover it with that dark blue black color. Yelzia says, I keep looking at them. <laughs> yeah. Vanessa says, What you doing? I am creating a, a galaxy background, although it looks like a marble just now, doesn't it? You lost your marbles, mate. <laughs> IVF says, after last week, I went ahead and got some better cardstock. Ooh, nice. And could you blend better? Hey, snowy splodges. Watching while I work, oh bless you. I couldn't believe in the different, the different and vibrant colors. Yeah, Mama Leslie knows her thing or two. All right. So I've added some of this chip sapphire up top and now we're going to add some black suit. Michaela says what is the name of these wooden stamping things? This is a mini blending tool. Um, I sell them at Heffy Doodle, the Ranger ones. I think this one is a scrapbook.com one but the Ranger ones I have at Heffy Doodle. Jasmine says that she got the paint on card. Nice. All right. So I'm just blending in with black. <coughs> Pardon me. And I might actually come in with some black oxides as well. Because I think my oxide's probably juicier. If I can find it. If I have it, do I have it? Oh no, I don't think I do. Oh, well, at least I've got something something else to add to my list that I need to buy. Black suit. And this is this one. Yeah, it is this one. Sneaky. Phew, almost doubled up there. So I'm just going to randomly add some of the colors to this. Some, some black in, spl in splotches rather than like all over. So we've got an undertone color underneath, but it is black. Ivy Elf says, I think we all learned a lot from you last week, Leslie. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. It's a bit different to my normal Friday night play sessions, but I am really glad that it was helpful. Vanessa says, looks lovely, actually. I bought the paper you mentioned last week. Oh, yeah, I got that. Yell says, using pigment inks at the moment. Woo. Last week was special. Yes, I think so too. Okay, so as we know, every night sky needs stars. So let's get a paintbrush and some pigment ink, some um, Copic white ink.
and add some stars. Try not to get it everywhere. Now the other thing you could do, however, I would recommend doing this outside, <laughs> is like flicking it at an angle and essentially try to get like a streak coming across like this, like a streak, and then it looks a bit more like a Milky Way. I think this is cool. White splash, mm-hmm. stuff at the bottom there. Let's clean it out. Jasmine, I noticed that you're on Instagram now. Feel free to share your Instagram tags everybody if you want to follow each other. I always love seeing what you create and don't forget if you create something with Heffy Doodle please tag it hashtag Heffy Doodle even ha hashtag Heffy Doodlers be good too. Right I'm gonna leave my galaxy night sky to to dry a bit more while I color in my little guys. Let's see. Now Michaela's watching, so I have to remember to um, mention what colors I'm using. And if I forget, please remind me. All right, so I'm gonna go for probably some, shall I go for blue grays or shall I go for more yellowy tones for my, for my um, moon? Maybe I'll do some blue grays and then come in with some sort of yellows afterwards. So I'm using B60 Copic, which is pale blue gray. But I'm not going right up to the edge just now. It's kind of purpley. Very light purpley. And um, C0, I'm gonna add that too. I'm gonna blend the purpley tones into a grayer tone. And I'm probably gonna end up cutting off the bottom of this. I'm not too fussed about the bottom. I'm going to blend that into some clear using some circular motions. All right. Now, that, so that was zero. Jasmine says, I was there, but with a profile for Belle, her dog. Amy convinced me to make a separate one. Good idea. Jasmine with Noe, crafty mix is me on Instagram, says Jasmine. Love to create says mine is Kol Minja with K O L M I N G A. It says love to create. Awesome. Um, for me, Heffy Doodle is Heffy Doodle, obviously. And for me personally, is Hungry Heffy. Just the same as the YouTube channel here, Hungry Heffy. So if you don't follow me, you might want to have a look there. Usually if there's any technical issues over here at the moment, um, or when I'm, when I'm getting all set up, I will post them there usually. That was C1. Let's go a bit darker in these craters. So with C5. And this stamp set actually has 
extra craters so you can fill in the inside but I really wanted it to be mostly blank because then you could put the sentiment inside the moon which I think is fun so that was c5 I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to it which is barium yellow y00 just along the edge so it looks like there's a little bit of a light source coming in And all these are sort of risen up areas. There we go. So that's Y zero zero. So I've got my little spaceship. What color shall I do our spaceship? Um, I'm thinking this is going to be down here. Let me cut this out actually. I'll show you the trick with this as well. So for the moon, do you remember we turned it around so that you can stamp it 360 degrees. Well, the same goes for die cutting. You line it up. Secure in place. Bright blue, says Vanessa. around and cut it again. You might find there's a small area where it's still attached. But just a little snip of your scissors, we'll get rid of that. Bright blues is Vanessa. Well, I'm sure we can accommodate. Here we go. We've got a cool moon. We just need to snip it away. Yell Dale says, mine is Leslie Yell, but it has all my attempts at drawing and painting in watercolor. That's okay. I'm sure they are wonderful. So at the bottom of our space scene we're going to have our moon hanging out down here and then we're going to have our spaceship up above with uh one of our little dudes in it so bright blue you think let's see what we've got here b12 ice blue I'll, i'm going to probably darken this up afterwards I'll make it blue like this. That's B12. B02 now. To brighten it up a wee bit here. Love to create says, I just checked and I already follow uh, Hungry Doodle, Hungry Doodle, Happy Doodle, I imagine you. Happy Doodle and Hungry Happy, that's me. So, what's the difference? The Happy Doodle is 
the the business so it'll only have heffy doodle items or at least the majority of heffy doodle items but hungry heffy is my own personal one so i will share other things as well as my cards but cards from other companies etc this one is called holiday blue pg05 boy we're all ready for holidays at the moment aren't we i think so anyway i'm gonna blend this together with b zero where is b zero b zero zero i guess it's b zero zero frost blue just in that section in the middle there now i haven't gone right up the edges here but that's going to be um kind of look like a highlight i guess oops let me make it a little bit more pronounced though like it's intentional that's it so i think we're going to need some Oh, I know what else I should order is some gold and silver pens, like gel pens. This is called Cadmium Red R27. We'll darken that up with a little R59 on the edges here just to make it more, a bit more depth. Oh guys, I'm going to have to strip off before too long. R05 for this section in the middle. Let me take off my sweater. All right. Oh, Love to Create says purple ship. Well, we're on red at the moment. Red and blue. Red and blue. I think I'll actually do this top section the same as well. Tazan says, we'll find you all after the live. Yes, I'm sure you can. Hunt everybody down and join them on Instagram, etc. Fine, everybody. Ivy Elf says, I've misplaced my cloud stencil. No, if I had a clutter keeper, I'd know where it was. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. And that's like one of the best ones. One of the design team messaged me this week and said, what I want to know is how on earth do you have any cloud stencils left? Because... I use it all the day, every day, and and people need this. I said, well, I've only got two left, so. <laughs> and then that day they both went. So uh, we're out of stock of our clouds at the moment. More coming. Don't you worry. All right, oh, 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 Y38, which is honey. Hiya, honey. Hey, Scrap Bina, Jen's joining the fun tonight. Um, and I've got a little panel over here, which I always imagine is a little, you know, stainless steel panel. A little silver panel with some boutons on it. So let's give it some yellow buttons, maybe. The silver was C1, and this is acid yellow Y08. I'll bring some acid yellow into those little bits of the bottom there too. <coughs> Rachel Russell is giving us a heart, yay! <laughs> Roberta says she's tired today. Yeah, lots of tiredness happening. So this bit here is actually the top section, like the glass for the spaceship. So I'm just going to take BG10, another favorite of mine, I'm gonna draw a curve like this. You can't see. You see it kind of curves. 
and it up and a gap and continued it round. And that just gives the illusion of uh, glass and then it's see-through. Okay, so we need an alien flag. What color would an alien flag be? Hmm? Do you think it would be green? A little green with big eyes. <laughs> Should we do that? Should we do it green with big eyes? I think we could do that. liner markers oh, this one's bleeding a little bit just have to do maybe we'll give them some antennae just for fun I'll show you. Hold on. <laughs> it bled. His little eye bled, but it'll still be fun. Yelzel says, I've been enjoying my lockdown so much with crafting. I had a terrible email this morning from a company saying it's back to work on Thursday. A boo. A boo. That's not fun at all. Okay, we're gonna make this little guy blendy blendy. We're gonna have some yellow. This is Y00 barium yellow. And I think we'll blend him into a uh, pink, I think. Why not? What's this? RV triple zero. which is called pale purple actually, rather than pink. Um, 319 I think is darker than you think. Yeah. V91, pardon, pale grape. You're so grape. And R20, he's getting a wee bit bleedy at the moment, so I'm gonna leave him to dry. Leave him to dry for a second. Snow is here. Oh, lovelies. Hi, lovelies. Long time no see. <laughs> and Amanda's here. Hello. So late to the party. I'm working on outer space cards today too. There you go. I was telling everybody at the start, Amanda, that um, Jasmine was the lucky winner of this week, this month, I keep saying weeks, um, challenge. The lucky old thing. And there's a new challenge. On the agenda. Okay, so giving this guy purple stripy legs. And I want this guy to be purple, but I really don't like the purples in in um my Copic selection. So I'm gonna go over to my Nouveau's spring lilac for this guy. Might be able to blend that with the grape. Yep, so grape. That's pale lilac. I'm gonna be able to make that work. Maybe. A little bit of love and attention and scrubbing. So this one's called Spring Lilac Nouveau and this one's called Pale Lilac with Copic. And then I might be able to blend that into, yeah, sort of a pinkier tone here, which is Delicate Rose Nouveau. And then probably 
probably back to that RV triple zero in the middle. I like him. And I'm gonna give him green arms, like a yellowy green arm. Nouveau wild grape and Persian lime. And for his Nino Ninos, Tropical Ocean 363. Yeah. Oh, do, do, do. Jasmine says, I'm sl I'll slow my entries this month. <laughs> you don't need to, honey. Uh, Snow says, the Spectrum Mar ones uh, are more blue tones rather than violet. I agree, Snow. Uh, Scrapina says, hey, Snow, Amanda and Jessica. Michaela says she arrived late. Uh, I don't know if you already explained the name of the stamping kit. The stamping kit. We don't have a kit. Was it the, the Misty? This here is called the Misty. Is that what you mean, Michaela? So let's see. Got a little bit of a bleed happening on this guy. So I'm gonna blend him some more. And this guy needs to be blended up too. And we're gonna give him, let me zoom you in guys. We're gonna give him some little spots on his head. Because obviously he's a, He's an alien. He's going to have a little bit of texture. That's a delicate rose, 449 Nouveau. And we'll also do RV triple zero. There we go. Now, over to this guy. What are we going to do for him? Should we go green? What color do you think? <laughs> Let me catch up. Snow is apologizing about, um, I'm going to try and hang out for a bit. She's missed uh, some come craft with me. <laughs> That's all right, honey. Pear says, hey, Jen. <laughs> and Jessica McAfee is here as a hello. Uh, Jessica McAfee says, we were so lucky, no lineups anywhere. And now my little guy has a few summer clothes. Oh, you went shopping? <gasps> Oh my gosh, amazing. I actually bought some stuff for Piper online and had to wait what seemed like forever for them to arrive. <laughs> well, I think it was nearly three weeks, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, is forever. <laughs> it's forever in, in uh, the, in shopping terms these days. When I do him green, he always reminds me of Mike Krasowski. Yeah, I still always do him green. Krasowski. Let's add a little bamboo leaf just to darken up his arms a little bit, mixed in with Persian lime. And we'll give him some dots too. Just for fun. So in around his mouth, I wanna make it dark, I think. Do we do, um, yeah, let's make it dark. So we'll go for C5, oops. Jasmine says, I'm loving this step card theory. It took me three attempts to get the template right, but then I got there. Oh, the step card is really fun. But Jasmine, I also had that issue. I made a step card for the last release, um, just on my own time. And in my head, I was like, oh, okay, I know what it is, it's fine. But you kind of need to do the math. So I, I, I wouldn't get yourself down <laughs> if, uh, if you did get it right off the bat, because neither did I. <laughs> okay. These all guys need smiley, rosy cheeks. So R20 is my favorite 
for adding rosy cheeks. Okay, I'm going to zoom you out a wee bit now. Michaela says, I mean these cute space stamp things. Okay, so this is You're Weird by Heffy Doodle. And I'm probably also going to add something from the Spaced Out stamp set by Heffy Doodle also. So let's take some of these out of the way. And I cut some of these elements. So Jessica is talking about winners. I'm guessing winners is a clothes shop in uh, Canada. Oh, Jen. Jen, I got my card. Thank you so much. I got a surprise this week. The card arrived. Thank you, darling. It cheered me up when I was having a, having a bit of a grump of a day. <laughs> Yay! You're the best, thank you so much. Let's get this little dude out as well. Pop him through. Such a cute stamp set and the sentiment from Spaced Out, zooming by to say, to say is begging to be used. I know, I actually kind of designed them both together. It was one of those stamp sets where I was like, I want, a, I want a rocket ship and I want an alien. And then it was, oh, maybe if I did it this shape. Um, okay, now I've got too many stamps. It'll just have to be two sets. <laughs> So yeah, it's just one of those. Amanda says, my package from you arrived today. Yay, huzzah. That is good. Where are you, Mr. Manny? Good, good, good. Love to create it says green. I think there's maybe a delay on some of the uh, comments coming through. Marble Mind Snow says, funny story. <laughs> you showed me the paint on paper last week, right? It was sold out on the German Amazon until yesterday. I saw it go down from 10 left to sh sold out to nine months stock. Oh my goodness. Guess that means I really need to get it in stock for my own stuff. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to mention this die in this set. So for those of you like me who like to create light up cards, um, I made this little insert, especially for those who like to create light up cards. So the idea is that if you just use it like this, it'll actually punch holes in the little, um, in the little circles there. But if you don't want to create, if you don't want to punch the holes, all you need to do is remove the bit here, like so with some snips, or you can bend it out. But um, I added the base plate here so that whenever you want to then use it again, it's really easy to center that up. So what I would recommend is that you do it face down like this. Center both pieces. Oops, this is the wrong way, like that. And then put some like strong sticky tape over it. Like a washi tape or something would be absolutely fine. I would not recommend the, um, the hef I think the Heffy Memo tape. It, it would probably hold it, but you'd want to just make sure that it didn't, um, it didn't budge at all. 
Amanda says, you guys, I'm feeling so lucky. I got two messages yesterday saying I won uh, different hot prizes. You need to go buy a lot of tickets, right? Nice. I don't feel like I've won anything in forever. See if I can move some of these bits around. That's amazing, Amanda. Congratulations. What did you win? That's what I want to know. Okay, let's put some of these things away. What did you win? What did you win? Alrighty. So, we're going to have a little spaceship like so. And uh, we're going to have an alien of some sort in it. I'm not sure which one. Maybe this little guy, I'm not sure. And I want him to kind of move around like this. Um, so to do that, I'm going to need some strips of card. Now I'm going to use the Heffy Doodle Strips of Ease. pieces of card and I think this one the middle size one would be perfect so let me die cut a couple of strips using the strips of ease and I'm using the strips of ease because I want to layer two on top of like one on top of the other basically because it would be more sturdy that way. A £25 Simon Says Stamp Certificate and a new die set from, what's TLC? TLC, what is that? T -t -t Tattered Lace? No, that can't be right. TLC, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, nice. Pair, uh, Amanda says, I'm going to get the new speckled egg distress oxide. Nice. And the crafty bunnies, I haven't seen that one yet. I need to check that one out. Congratulations. What's TLC? I'm, I'm having a blank here. got two and I just used the rest of that um, Claire Fontaine paper probably don't even need it like something lighter would probably be fine but let's give it a go I'm gonna stick one on top of the other with a little tape so that it's a bit more sturdy sturdy my jig Tender loving care. Snow says, my friend designed the bunny set. She has a bunch of digi sets with bunnies. Is it Isabel? Let's see. Okay, stick these one on top of the other. It is. I thought that, oh, is it the bunnies that someone had like sitting at a table, a craft table? Because they, I, I knew that I recognized them. That's funny. All right, so we're gonna have TLC Designs is new. She has digi stamps and one really cool double dial set. She has new dies coming in a couple of Ooh, exciting. Is it called Tender Loving Care? What is it? What does it mean? Okay, so the idea here is that I want to have kind of like a pendulum card. Yeah, Isabel Christini, yeah, exactly. So the idea is that we're gonna have a pivot in the middle, which will be on a brad, like so. But it needs to be hidden enough by my little moon. And this will go on top. Isabel Christina. Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right, 
So this will go on top like so. So, 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 so. This can go high enough to about here, probably, because this is quite tall. And then we want, I would imagine, the hole, the pivot action would be about here. So, I have a small hole plier punch I'm going to use for that. It's very old and it's kind of chewing it a little, but I think it will do. And then I punched a hole here as well, so I'm just going to encourage that hole a little bit more, like so. So this is obviously too long for here, so I'm going to chop this down a bit, like so. And this is going to go on like this. So let me go and grab a brad. So that this can move a little. Well, I'm going to get a black one. It actually probably won't matter what color it is. So it's going to go something like this and I'm going to stick this down the back but I don't want it to be flush, I want it to be, I want it to have a little bit of room. So you could put something like thick in there, like let's see, you could put a die or something. So that it has a little bit of room. I think it probably needs. I think we're probably going to need a little bit more room actually. And I think the problem is probably my plier punch is too small. So let me go and grab something that's going to make a little bit of a bigger hole. I probably have many dies that would do the trick just perfectly fine. Certainly for this, my crop a tile would crop a dial would work. Let me. I think that would work. There we go. I don't think I think this is gonna be too far up. Yeah, that one's too far up for my crop a dial. But I do have a silent setter from many, many moons ago. The problem is it's kind of clogged. I think that'll work. So that makes a perfect circular hole in it. Can you see? There we go. That'll do the trick. From my eyelet setting days. This is going to go here and it's nice and loose at the moment. So the idea is that we're going to stick a coin onto the bottom of this. Now you can use a penny, a penny works. You can use a 5p, 5p also works and a bit smaller. 
This is a one cent. So a one cent is actually thinner than a penny, but because that's also um, not as heavy, but I think it will still work. Or we have got a, a dime to go on there as well. I think it's a dime and a cent. A dime is slightly smaller. So I'm gonna go for a dime. Why not? So let's stick this on here. I'm just gonna round the bottom of that and then put some nice sticky tape on it. So many currencies, I know. Well, um, we have a we have a pot in our dining room, like a jar. And every time we come home from random location, it kind of just gets emptied into the jar. <laughs> and one of the one of the um, photo treasure hunts that I was telling you guys about earlier, one of the photo prompts was a foreign exchange. So I was like, oh, I'm absolutely prepared for this. So for those of you who um, joined later, last Saturday, off kilter crafter in, he, it was his birthday and he had a photo treasure hunt or a scavenger hunt, and he called it a scavenger hunt, photo scavenger hunt. And um, I joined in, it was, it was kind of fun because most of the people that were doing it with his family and afterwards um, he had a Zoom chat. So we like, we joined the Zoom chat. Um, so for all of them, it was I think five or six in the evening. For me, I'm like, it's half past midnight. <laughs> it was really funny. All right, so can you see that this is moving? gonna have a little swing swing action just what we need and then this is going to go on top we just need to make sure that we cover that pendulum now the other thing we need to do is trim down we need to cover the brad I mean we just need to figure out where this is going to go and cut it accordingly Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pencils, pencils of all, pencils have all left my desk and are now living over on Piper's desk for schoolwork. So my Canadian and any French uh, or Francophone friends are over there. Um, I have decided to teach Piper French. So this week we started started our French, which has been really fun. Okay, I'm gonna use that same die to cut along that. Curve that I marked out there. IBL says, I took French in high school. I wish I could remember it. <laughs> oh, it'll all come back if you start using it again. For sure. Okay, so we've got it like this. Let me get the point where it's kind of closest to the bottom. I think it's down here. And add this here. So the one thing you have to bear in mind is you don't want any foam tape where um, it's going to interfere with your pendulum. So I'm going to add some foam tape all the way along this bottom section. And 
and I'm going to use the foam strips. Oops. So I've used my I've used my um heavy memo tape there as a guide, if you if you noticed. So I knew where to start and when to stop. So this is going to go right the way along here. Oops, still a little little bit too big. So this will go just like this. And this is going to swing. But bear in mind, we want it to swing back and forth like this. So you can't have any foam tape like here because it's going to stop the action. So if I remove this and do this action, there's kind of a zone in the middle here and here, which is not going to be affected by this. But I think the best thing to do is actually to stick this on and then slide in a bit of foam. Oops, let me get my head right under here. That's it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's going to be that much fun. So, you probably don't need something to stop this, but I think it would be good to have some sort of piece of foam here to make the the moon a bit more sturdy. I think we're probably looking at this right here. Yeah. And probably just before this little guy here as well. Need to get my tweezies for this one, I think. There you are. Yeah, so probably like here. Let's give it a go anyway. That's it, look. It's going really well. I'm going to keep this little piece of foam for later. Later alligator. What to do with this? There it is. Oh, here we go. Um, I really wish the jack. I really wish the Gemini wasn't so loud, says Snow. I also wish that. However, I can, um, when I go close to it, I can mute my mic. So that will make life easier for you. Okay, which one of these little guys are we going to put in here? Are we going to have Mike? Are we going to have Fluff? Are we going to have Splodge? Who do you want to go inside there? You let me know while I tidy away some of my distressings. Oh gosh, Mike, Spludge and, and Fluff is so three for three. <laughs> uh, Ivy Elf says middle one, Fluff. Who else? Fluff, Mike does look fun, says Ivy Elf. Don't worry, we're, we'll probably put them all on the moon, if not on their own little spaceship. So... 
but they're all going to get some fun. It's just who's going to be riding the spaceship. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Okay, I see more fluffs than anything else, so we'll go with fluff. Fluff, you have been chosen as the pilot for tonight's flight. Congratulations. Mike looks like a joy rider, says Yaz. I think you may right. He looks like he's a bit spaced out. <laughs> I want of a better word. All right, Fluff, are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to put Fluff near the top of this little bubbly boo and then this means I can put this on here and I'm actually going to use my foam strip to go along the top here looking cute says Roberta I'm listening along oh good So I'm adding this extra layer so that this is raised up a bit. So I'm hoping it'll hang over the top of my, it'll, it'll kind of do this and go woo. Now, <clears throat> for this to actually hang with gravity, because if I just do this, it'll go like, it'll do this, which would work. But I think it's cool if it kind of hovers. So then I need a bigger hole here. And rather than try and squeeze my crocodile in there, I'll cheat and just do this. harder with the two layers but anyway we made it and I'm gonna stick a brad to his head see if I can get one which is a bit bigger and maybe flatter What's this? Hmm, a lot of the bigger ones I have. Sadly, the legs then are going to be too long. So I'll go for another one of these little black dudes. It's gonna, I'm gonna stick that right to his noggin, for want of a better word. So let's get a glue dot or something for him. Now, if you think the glue dot's not going to stick it, not gonna, not gonna stay there, then maybe what's better is to create a little. Create something like this. Let me show you. Where is my pokey two? So I've got a piece of card, then I've poked a hole in it, and I'm going to cover it in tape like so. Poke the hole back through it, including the tape. And oh, it's going to trim it down a little bit. And then you want to stick the brad through the sticky side like this. 
and then stick it sticky side down. Oops. I'll just trim away the edges like this into a curve. Put sticky side down so it's not going to move now. It's a bit more robust than just one little glue dot on there. So once again, we're going to push this through and then we're going to bend it back. But before I push it through, I'm actually going to train my brad legs so they bend where I want them to bend. Now earlier what I did was I took two dies, I stacked up two dies and put it here and bent it over. The other thing you can just do simply is use like a pair of tweezers or a pair of pliers and um, bend it in the exact place where you want it to bend. So it's not right up, there's a definite gap in here. So that there's a definite, oh, there's a definite gap in here. So look, this works. Can you see? If I hold it in a spot where it's actually going to be, there we go. So let me now straighten them out, push it through, fold them back. Ooh, this stick is just a little bit too tall, so take away my corners. Should have put it further down on him. But now he's going to move around as the card rolls like this. You can't really see at your angle, but I promise it's really cool. <laughs> Tweezers are really handy to get a loose brad. Yes, I agree. All right, so. Tidy up as we go. Forgot to put this away. So the good news is that's like the hard bit done. And of course, Sheree is like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Oh, sorry, little Leslie, are you going to make us all be engineers like amazing Amanda? Absolutely. Why not? Because I think that there's actually a little engineer in, in most of us, to be honest. All right. So the only thing we want to make sure is that these guys do not interfere with the action that's happening. So let's, let's stick this onto the card base. Now we want to make sure this line here is at the top like so in fact I'm going to do mine on this so that I know it's straight so it goes like so I'm going to encourage it to not move and then this is going to be at the bottom like this okay so let's add some tape to this See if we're going to be able to make this work. I'm not going to put any tape in the middle where I have that brad. I won't make a big deal, but I don't want to push my luck. shall we? Oh, it's so cool. He doesn't wobble quite as much as what I would like, but it's still very cool. Can't tell if he's catching on something. Might need a little bit of a If I could put him up here, you can see him. Can you guys see him? I 
I think if I had done my this pole a bit longer, it would have been better if he was a little bit higher. I wonder if I can move up his the brad without ruining everything. Let me see. If I gently put that like here, would it make any difference? He definitely um, wobbles. I think he is. I think the foam tape at the front is weighing him down a bit. Can you guys see him? Definitely moving. If I do this, you can see him. That's so cool. <laughs> Jasmine's off. Okay, so this is going to move kind of between here and here, which gives us a little bit of room for Mike. Mike, don't get stood on. And this guy, whoever he's got, uh, and Splodge. I don't quite like them whenever they're standing. The other thing we could do is put like another planet for want of a better word, like down here. We could have like another planet on the edge and they're standing on it. But I don't know, that might be too much. Ah, I love it, okay. So let's see, what should we do? Shall we add our sentiment on here? So this one says zooming by to say, I think that whoever it was that said that that is the perfect sentiment was 100% right. It needs to be here or up here somewhere. If we do it here, then we can't add these guys on there. And this is not sturdy surface at the moment, so that's probably a bit on the dangerous side. Yes, we could have it in on the inside. Let's let's stamp some planets for the distance. For in the distance. Mike and Spludge. Vanessa says she likes the splodge one inside. <laughs> Little splodgy. All right, what are we gonna have? We better not forget our alien. Got to have earth, standard. And here, Mike could be peeping out behind the planet. That's a really good idea. I think that's that's a winner. And so this has got um, this has got stars in it, but I pulled out the stargazer backdrop die because I'm thinking that what I might do is cut a stargazer panel and then use the little stars and stick them on. So I'm wondering if I could find some silver like glitter paper or shimmer paper. That might be cool. I'm 
definitely in love with my quarter keepers though. Okay, let's see if I can find some litter paper. Actually, that's another thing that I want to add to my stash. Somebody give me a little sample of some silver glitter paper that is non-shed. I'm pretty sure it's inside beside my printer. It's just a small piece, but I think all the ones I have are more like a glitter card. Let's see. I've got black glitter paper, but that's not really going to show up, is it? What's in this stash? Silver mirror paper? That could work also. Can we give that a go? So we have some mirror paper. Let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna run this through the machine. I'm gonna put you on mute for a second. Vanessa says, what is a clutter keeper? Okay, well, I have to show you because I spoke about it earlier. Um, one of my friends, Rebecca, Be Becky and Carl Marco, they have a, like a business called Make It by Marco and they create 3D printed craft storage items. So they have this, which is what I use to hold my glue upright so that I always have it to hand and that it doesn't clog the, fit, the nip. The nib. I, they do a really cool phone holder, which my child has stolen one and my husband has stolen the other. So I can't show you, but I really like it. It's so handy to have in um, one way. It's like quite high up like this and then the next way it's lower down. So it works beautifully. Anyway, a clutter keeper is one of these 3D printed thingy my bobs and I have one over here can't quite see it and um, which holds the plates it holds these guys my plates for my Gemini and um, I've been using I've got two of these over here I've got one with my Misty in it here and black cardstock and then I have another one here beside it which I'm holding everything that I'm using tonight um, so that I'm not having it flat on the on the um, desk and I have to say it's making a big difference to the amount of space that I have all right let's color these guys in so obviously we need an orangey ready one hey so this one will be orangey red. So we've got Y17 Copic, golden yellow, mixed with that barium one that we had earlier, Y00, and we'll go Y02 on this side, and I think that's probably gonna be enough, not, not too red. And then maybe we'll have, ooh, that's a very deep purple. Blend that out. BV08 was that blue violet blended with V17 amethyst. And what's this? V09 violet. Oh, too dark. I think this is where I have a gap in the uh, colors. Blended into RV34 dark pink. So I'll go over my purple as well. Pick up some of those little dotties. Earth's got to be kind of earthy colors. So we have got YG17 grass green, obviously. And 
mixed with B32. Although technically I think probably Earth's going to be a bit darker. So maybe we'll darken up what we got here, B24. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Can anyone order from them? Yes, so you can go to, they have an Etsy store. If you go to Etsy and you type in make it by Marco, then you are definitely gonna be able to find them. And like I say, feel free to buy yourself a phone, a phone uh, holder because, or at least investigate it because I think that they are so brilliant. I use them all the time. Even if I'm just watching if I'm watching, actually, Snow, I should send one to you because if I'm watching, oh, where is it? I wish I could find it. I thought I had one here earlier. No. It kind of clips onto your phone like this, like a V. So instead of holding your phone like this, I put my thumb through and hold it just like this and rest it like that. Um, or you can you can just like hold it in different ways because it comes out like a V at the back. Yeah, I like it. I'll send you one, Snow. Okay, let's go for one of these. And we'll go for... Why don't we give this guy a teal ring? Because... I love teal and there's not been enough teal on this card. So we've got BG23, which is Coral C. And a little BG10 blended out. And this guy needs splotches for sure. What should we go for? YR20 maybe? No, you can't see YR20. Let's try E95. Can't really see that either. YR02. No, it's gonna bleed if I do any more, so I'll leave it. <laughs> is it kind of like a pop socket? It is absolutely not like a pop socket. Um I'll tell you what, at the end of the at the end of the show, I will go and get it for you. I'm sure if I go inside of uh, one of the one of the family members will have one not too far away. Now, I'm not a big fan of the pop socket thing, mostly because, if, well, not that it's been applicable recently, but if we go anywhere, I always put my phone in my back pocket and I didn't like the fact that it would get caught. Vanessa, they have a shop on Etsy and they have a list of retailers as well. Search it by making my work. Thank you. All right, that's that one. And these ones are the same size. I have to use the same die for that one. Yeah, it's like a crocodile looking, v. it's like a V. Mm -hmm. It's like a crocodile looking V is a really good way to describe it. It's all like bumpy. I quite like the bumps though. I like touching them, feeling them. Hey candy girl. Snow has a pop socket. I, I didn't get into the pop socket thing. But I really like this and I, I am it it's um the phone holder like i i normally would you know before lockdown etc thank you snow um i normally would just throw it in the front pocket of my rucksack so it'd always be there so it's good no 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 vanessa they are in the us of a So I am contemplating getting some of their stuff for our store, for, for Heavy Doodle. Because I really like their things. All right. So I have got some stars and I have got some 
critters. I like the way that, okay, so I like the idea of him popping out, but I don't like the fact that it's white behind him. So I think he has to go down here somewhere. This guy can pop out though. He's cute. He can go down there. Candy says, I used the Make It by Marco Fung Clip as a hair clip once. I remember that. That was at um, Junkie Fest. I recall. I think it worked better as a phone holder than a hair grip. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stick this one down here. It's getting really hot in here. So much for me saying that it was... Uh, Delightfully cooler now. Famous last words. Andy says, Pop socket fell off because of the heat, and I find myself playing with it too much, so I don't have one anymore. <laughs> Imagine that. What is Junkie Fest I hear you speak about? Good question. Especially if I speak about it a lot, then I should definitely let you guys know what that is um there is a web there is a facebook group called stamp junkies and um it where did my other thing go to i guess i must have used it um, there is a Facebook group called Stamp Junkies and it's really popular for stampers and card makers. Um, there is so many people in the group though. I find it, quite honestly, I find it quite hard to keep up with it. But it is a fantastic place for resources, etc. and inspiration. Uh, Stamp Junkies. And the people that um, manage the, the site... Uh, the admins, etc. They created a couple of years ago a an event, and oh, I should have done the flag in the crater. Too late. They created an event called Junkie Fest, where people could come and uh, hang out. So people who were, you know, part of the group, they could. come and um, and hang out at an event and there was education, there was fun and games and lots of really cool things. So I went to Junkie Fest last year, um, just uh, attending, not, not um, educating, not teaching or anything like that, but just, I, I did make and takes and whatnot. Candy helped me. That's where I met Candy for the first time. Bless her soul. Uh, also, where I met Carl and Becky from Make It by Marco. So Carl had uh, made these 3D printers. He like 3D printed the 3D printer, which is really meta and cool. And he made me my chamois holder. Oops. I got a Honey Dukes pop socket for Christmas from the little one as I've. Oh, that would be awesome. Honey Dukes. Oh, do you know what? I probably should have. Oh, I, I could probably leave these hanging off the edge, couldn't I? I thought I'd just cut that one off. It might look weird though if I have some of the edge and some not. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's add some. More silver stars. Uh, 
I'm liking the little stars. Yeah. Have I got any other little babies? There we go. Yay! No junkie fest and no in-person stamp joy by tailored expressions. Yeah, I don't know. The UK have started to open up a lot of stuff and I'm just super skeptical. I got a, I got an email today about uh, like a craft show in August. They're like, yes, we're gonna head for a craft show in August. They want us to book the, to have a stand at the craft show, which obviously is money. But I honestly think that, um, I honestly think that not many people will, will go still. I don't know. It's the first week in August. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Can I kind of cut him off? You're cut off, dude. Bye, Snow. Miss this so much. Fun to hang out. Bye. Love you. All right. So I like that. I think my problem here is this is, this guy is, it's hanging down. So I think I need to weigh it back here. But I don't know whether if I weigh it like this, it's going to be a problem. I think it probably would be a problem if I did that. Oh, he still works though, so that's cool. I'm happy with that. Okay, so if I hold it here. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. So if I hold it here, he kind of goes like this. And flies around. Wibbly wobbly. I'm gonna put a couple of little, um, or actually bigger stars in behind him. So when he moves, you get, it doesn't look so sparse in there. There we go. I think he's pretty cool. What do you guys think? You can kind of see him moving there. It's a fun idea, isn't it? Krobu says, I've never seen one of these before. Ashley says, love it. I think if I put um, a foam pad on the top of him here. It would just kind of lift this up a little bit. So I might do that. I wouldn't take the sticky off. I would just make sure that it wasn't sticky. But I think it's cool the way he moves. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna leave him here for you guys to admire. I'm also gonna let you know that um, there's a lot of stencils on offer at the moment over at Heffy Doodle. If you wanna check that out, please do. We've got some special offers going on over there. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and grab that phone clip so that I can show you because if you're interested, um, I think you guys are gonna love it. Okay, I'll be right back.
Can you hear me? All right, so uh, sorry about that. I had to go much further than anticipated and, um, and then my batteries died. So uh, <laughs> let me recap what I was trying to say. Um, this is it. It is 3D printed and Carl designed it so that it would have some flex in it. So what you do is you just pop it on like this and um, you can have it like this so it's quite high up if that makes sense it's perfect for like, video calls because it's quite high or you can have it like this where it's a bit more of an angle so if you want to do a call for your face that works too and um, you can also have it like this which I really am a fan of um, and um, I you can slide it wherever you want if I have it up too high it touches my off button on my phone but um, I just find it more comfortable to hold my phone just like this casually rather than like that. Um, so I, I really like it and it's small enough that it'll just go in my purse like that. Um, I do a, like a Facebook video chat with some of my crafty friends during the week and I need to do a video face up and this is perfect. I have a little, little box and I, I, this is too, you can't see my craft desk like this, but if I put it on something like that, it, it's sturdy enough. It's not going to, you could try and balance just your phone, but any kind of nudge and it's going to move. So this works perfectly for me. So there you go. I am a fan of those. And, um, now I have lost all my phone clips to everyone else in the house because they are now also fans. <laughs> this is the only one I could find out of three. So I definitely have to get some for the store, I think. All right, guys, I'm going to call that a night because I had to borrow Craig's batteries uh, from his Xbox controller in order to finish off telling you about the phone clip. And I need to return them because he is playing with some friends. So I shall say cheerio. Ranger shall say cheerio too. You just come out. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed playing along with me. And this, I called it a rock and roll card. Snow called it a pendulum card. I think there's lots of different names for different cards like this, but I think it's super cute anyway. Thank you, Ashley. Thanks, Jessica and Monica Aww. and Roberta and Amanda and everybody else. And Isha's here <laughs> and Amy's here too. Amy, I thought you were away with um, Darren, uh, seeing uh, Darren's party tonight and Pam as well. IB Elf says, another great stream, Leslie. Have a great night. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye, love to create. Bye. Where's my mouse? <laughs>